I completely forgot to turn the microphone on, but thanks for coming back for... Mama Frank on TV again! You couldn't see me earlier because the apartment was super cold and the lens fogged up. And for the most part, I really didn't have anything to say. But this morning while I was in the shower, I got this great idea. It was super emotional, but I'm going to do it. And I don't know whenever I'm going to be able to post it. Hopefully I can get everything that I need recorded by Monday. And then we can get that video up for, for Monday Motivation. Yeah, stairs aren't my friend. I really need to work on my cardio. Seriously. Aaron greeted me at the door and it was Friday Eve. Can I tell you something right now? I'm trying to get ahead on tip for tip episodes, right? And I've seriously been sitting here editing these same colors. Like I'm basically trying to correct color uh, because lighting conditions in the office are like kind of like off. Um, and even whenever I use white light, some of the lights are still like kind of different. So if I try to do one color balance on one angle, the other angle is off. And Final Cut Pro has crashed on me like 10, 15, 20, I don't know how many times. I stopped counting over and over and over and over and over. I wanna throw my laptop out of the window, but I can't because this is what I used to make money. <sighs> Dilemma. It was podcast and recording day at Big Branding and we knocked it out with flying colors. I had to get on the road because I had a meeting with a specific podcaster, my boy, my homie, Anthony Roberts from The Reality Is. He's going to give you a little rundown of exactly what that podcast is about right now. He wanted me to walk around the corner instead of getting the car with him. I forgot the... No, I was just going to say that I got my ass whipped and killed oh, Instagram. I was going to say it was 62. <laughs> Man, wait a minute, hold up. You didn't whip my ass six, you didn't whip my it's ass six times. It's your, it's your, it's your store on there. Like, it's your store on there somewhere, 62. Okay, yeah, he beat me seven to four. Okay, but we also talked about some other stuff that we're gonna do for The Reality Is, and I think he's about to run with another. He's gonna do a podcast right now. So, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna watch the magic happen. <laughs> hey, y'all, no not don't mind me. I'm watching the fuck out of my phone. Man, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. All right, man. So I want you to tell everybody. Let, let me get me some glasses, man. He he, to he, look he, he wants to look regal. All right, man. Why don't you tell everybody what this what the podcast is about? I, I don't, well, you mean my the podcast in itself, or the podcast in itself, or the podcast I'm about to do today? The podcast in itself. I mean, it's really just a place for. Would you say millennials, bro? I wouldn't say millennials, no more. Just open-minded people. That mean really just open-minded people who wanna. Discuss politics, religion, really discuss sex, discuss relationships, yeah, people's faults, their faults. I'm probably looking all over the place, but I mean, it's really just a place to come have unfiltered conversation and be honest with yourself. Be transparent. If you masturbate, you talk, you say you masturbate. If you don't, you don't. Twice a day, if you if you really that kind of dude, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> If you don't know, if you're not in touch with yourself, then how are you going to be in tune with me? You can't. You got to be in touch with yourself, man. My boy, wild man. Podcasting is definitely an art. Just like being on the radio, being a voice personality, or acting, you need to know what you're doing, what you're going to talk about, and specifically, being able to deliver that message by just really just talking over the, the microphone. And with Anthony's podcast and with Big Branding's podcast and even mine, we all have a different flow of my things. And I enjoy being around Anthony and learning from everything that he's done with his podcast and his company and his business. I headed out. Made my way back down to Allen from Dallas, and I look around, and I'm just grateful and thankful to be living in such a great city. I'm out. Guys, thank you so much for being so loyal, so friendly, and so engaging in my YouTube channel. You know what I want you guys to do? Right now, I want you to shout out your city and tell everybody where you're from. 
and yeah like P.E. Pablo rip y'all city <laughs> alright guys I'm out have a great and blessed day